am concerned that one of the, just like we see students less likely to go out in groups and socialize, uh, we're seeing students less likely to go out in groups for physical activity. So I do think that as you think about how to encourage young people to get back to physical activity, the kind of physical activity that would have not just physical benefit, but I would say cognitive, social, emotional benefit too, is group activity. Physical activity is essential for all people's well-being. For some, being physically active is a lifestyle. Places like the gym become a second home for those mindful toward their physical health. However, for others, an increasingly technological world encourages their physical activity to become secondary to sedentary behaviors like browsing social media instead of going outdoors. These behaviors are even more common in youth today, since being born into the digital age makes technology even more accessible. Even globally, we can see differences in physical activity in youth, with East Asian countries falling far below activity standards set by the WHO, which states that children and youth ages 5 to 17 should be getting at least one hour of exercise a day, whether it be moderate or vigorous. Hong Kong, for example, has about 40% of its children not meeting this standard. Finding a means to increase physical activity among youth is paramount for establishing healthy long lives. And using aspects of technology, like social media, to effectively combat this issue is a practical route to take. Social media is a modern method of communication. Social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and MeChat are commonly used as methods of fostering community, harvesting relationships, and stimulating dialogue. The internet connectivity in Hong Kong is one of the fastest in the world, which allows its citizens to begin social media usage at a young age. In our intervention, we account for this usage to combat physical activity in the city. We also aim to incorporate collectivist values. Establishing a workout and diet regimen can be intimidating, scary, and lonely. This is where the use of social media geared towards a healthy lifestyle comes in. In a society that emphasizes cohesiveness within communities and groups, seeing friends and family pursuing their fitness goals can be motivating. Our intervention also considers the urban landscape of Hong Kong, which is susceptible to traffic congestion, air and water pollution, and soil contamination. Furthermore, climate change increases the severity and frequency of extreme weather conditions, making outdoor activity difficult. In Hong Kong, secondary school students are in school for seven to eight hours a day without calculating time spent on homework, extracurricular activities, or filial commitments. Given this, they're unlikely to have time to commit to going to the gym or utilizing outdoor green spaces. Our objective is to make physical activity more time efficient and accessible in various spaces, such as within the classroom, workplace, or at home. Our proposed intervention is a social media-based fitness platform called Step Together. The platform focuses on social fitness team building to encourage a more collectivist approach to combating physical inactivity in secondary schools in urban Hong Kong. We conducted a survey of 11 young adults who attended at least one year of middle and or high school in Hong Kong. Using a Likert scale, we surveyed their physical activity in school, curriculum, enjoyment of the program, and continuation of habits. Of the 11 respondents, 46% did not participate in their school fitness programs. 54% marked that their participation did not motivate them to practice fitness at home, and 64% did not agree that they learned how to perform different exercises and fitness routines. 54% did not feel healthier as a result of the program. Step Together seeks to address this critical gap and step in where the Hong Kong physical education system leaves off, solidifying healthy, well-informed fitness habits starting at a young age. Though targeted towards secondary school students, the app will be accessible to users of any age and demographic. For a user-centered, personalized approach, users will begin by logging their BMI. Next, they will take a quiz that determines the best way for them to develop habits. The quiz sorts users into the four categories derived from Gretchen Rubin's evidence-based model, the four tendencies for habit formation. The upholder responds readily to external and personal expectations. They're the most self-motivating. The obliger prioritizes external expectations and wants daily accountability. This is the most common tendency. The questioner wants the information to make smart choices and justify their habits. The rebel resists external expectations and prefers solitary work. These results will be used to suggest how each team member can best contribute to the success of the team and how they can personalize their own approach to fitness. The individual user plans will be designed to meet the inner expectations while the team goals will correspond to the outer expectations as outlined in Rubin's Four Tendencies model. It is important to note that the results from the habit formation quiz are not intended to limit the individual or fitness goals, but rather to provide a suggested framework on how to best achieve these goals. 
Through these routines, users can participate in one of four modes that are available within the application. These modes will encourage each user to strive towards individual and collective fitness goals. Personal mode, where each participant is encouraged to reach their own daily goal or total goal during a certain period. The participant completes the challenge once he or she meets the requirements. Contest mode, where the participant in a team who reaches the highest result receives a reward. Team mode, where all participants will work towards reaching one goal together. And team battle mode, for contests between teams. Physical well-being is also determined by diet and mental wellness. This application tracks holistic measures of wellness in these metrics. Steps taken, workouts completed, activity duration, hours slept, water consumed, minutes of mindfulness, nutritional content. Users can choose from a set of seven minute workouts that involve cardio, strength training, or a combination. To practice mindfulness, users can choose from a set of mini meditations. For tracking nutritional content, users will log their intake. When it comes to monitoring and rewarding progress, our app aims to foster a great sense of team building and community. Managing team and individual goals and progress is as easy as checking a box and users can choose to receive reminders about maintaining their habits. This is where team building will come in once again, as users can send notifications to their friends or teams about fulfilling their goals. Users can also earn points and even set records for themselves as they complete workouts or other health and wellness challenges. To incentivize our users, we will establish partnerships with businesses. These partnerships will allow users to receive discounted gym membership, discounts on food and gas, discounts on exercise gear, and rebates for produce. Users will be able to unlock these incentives as a result of earning points and achieving their goals. Finally, users can choose to share their progress within the application among their teammates or more broadly on other social media platforms. To ensure the sustainability of our app design, our long-lasting partnerships with businesses will establish a token economy and continue motivating our users. We will use the app and plug in reviews available during download to assess what additions or changes would ensure evident app usage sustainability in the future. And we will also keep updating the app and plug in to keep them relevant to the current needs of our target population and also to respond smoothly to technological upgrades. We plan to conduct a pilot study to assess the short and long-term efficacy of our application. Specifically, we'd like to see if the Step Together application is successful at instilling long-term positive habits of regular physical activity in our target population. This pilot study and the subsequent data analyses will take place over a three-year period. In year one, we will recruit secondary school adolescents in the age range of 12 to 18 years from Hong Kong. Our goal is to recruit a minimum of 80 subjects with as close to a 50-50 ratio of female to male subjects as possible. Subjects will be randomly assigned through a double-blind procedure to an experimental group that participates in our intervention program, or a control group that maintains their regular physical education regimen. In addition to recruitment of student populations, physical education teachers at each of the institutions from which we are recruiting will also provide voluntary consent to participate in the study. Prior to the beginning of the study, all student subjects will be asked to complete a survey measuring their current physical activity and general health and wellness habits. Research subjects in the experimental group will use the Step Together application as a replacement of their existing physical education curriculum, while subjects in the control group will continue their current physical education routines at their respective institution. Upon completion of the study, subjects will be asked to fill out the same survey they completed at the beginning of the study in order to measure retention of positive physical activity habits. They will be asked to complete these post-study surveys at the following time points, immediately post-study, six months post-study, and one year post-study. Results from each post-intervention survey will be analyzed to ultimately determine how effective the Step Together application was at instilling healthy fitness habits. In addition, qualitative analyses and interviews will be conducted with participating educators to assess attitudes towards adopting the Step Together application. Results from all data analyses will be disseminated through peer-reviewed journals. In summary, year one of our three-year pilot study will consist of subject recruitment. Year two will consist of actual subject participation in the study and simultaneous data acquisition through immediate pre and post study surveys. And year three will consist of data analysis, further data acquisition through short and long term post study surveys and educator interviews. Anticipated costs for each year are summarized in US dollars. And so it's one thing to get students to get out on a bike, put on their headphones and their Fitbit and ride on a bike path. It's another thing to get students to meet up with 20 of their friends and go on a bike ride together and then go out to lunch. I think it's the second one that even if it's not any more physically strenuous, 
will actually have the more positive overall health impact.